Hello Luigi Noids, this is Luigi X Rules playing Paper Mario Sticker Star. In the last episode we went through 1-3 Water's Edge Way and actually opened up two levels here, Hither Thither Hill and Wamino Mountain. And in this episode I think we're gonna go here because it's 1-4 obviously. Decided to pick up another jump at the town. But that's really all that happened. Yeah, I know. Also, one thing I will say is that you will want this fan sticker for this level, for reasons you will be seeing. Alright, that's battles taken care of. If you hit that tree, you can actually get some coins like that. You get a shell. This can be pretty useful for taking out groups of enemies. One out here is going to be good if you only need a few enemies to take out. Alright. Just used a couple of worn out hammers for that. So, what you can see is this thing. Windmill. On days of strong wind, beware the blades. Oh, wow, that was a snappy thing. Huh. Let's try to get in here. What is this? The blade, this blade is completely blocking the door. Talk about awful cottage design. Gee, guys, did we forget anything? Oh, wait, the front door access. Jeez. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'm, there's nothing we can really do about that for now. So let's attack this Goomba. Eh, eh, eh. Hey, look at that. We've broke a thousand coins now. Jeez. I've not been spending them, like, at all. So we can't do anything with that windmill, at first glance, at least. Then we got some more enemies to fight here. Oh, whoops. You can actually get first strike in this game. Something that I have yet to mention. And that's that guy taken care of. Got a s circle of flowers here, so that means that there's likely something we can paperize here. Yep, just like I thought. Alright, well, we know what happens if we stick a hurl hammer there, but what happens if we stick a line jump in here, then? If a hurl hammer turns into a line jump. Alright. It gives us a hurl hammer. Alright, I don't think I really needed any more of those. We have way too many hurl hammers, I decided to use one of them. Aw, oh, man, there's a crying toad up there. I don't like that. Gotta figure out a way to get up there. Oh, okay. I guess I could use that HP. So... Nothing... I guess we could go down this pipe. Do it. Oh! Hello there. That's a buzzy beetle. As you can see, it retreated into its shell, just like a... Koopa Troopa. Buzzy Beetles are essentially Koopa Troopas, but they have more HP. But actually, I would say that, but that's not actually entirely true. As you could see, actually, I think it just had 8 HP. But there is something else different about them. For one, they're usually only found in caves. We ate power block. Huh? That's odd. Alright, right here, I'll show you. Actually, it looks like they might have slightly less HP. Oh yeah, I got two there. Alright, that'll be good, because I wanted to show off something here. See, we have a fire flower, and because I know what's going to happen, I'm not going to use this. Buzzy beetles are actually completely immune to fire. Also, they retreat into their shells if you jump on them. Uh, I don't really have any more worn out jumps, so I guess I'll just use this. Those beetles have less HP, but they are immune to fire, so you'll want to be careful about that. Got a heal block down here, I did not need that. Let's hit this guy. What you usually want to do is you want to jump on them so that you can, just like Koopa Troopas. Alright, more useless HP. Okay, thanks for that. Oh, I can hear it! Oh, hey, it's right over there! Cool. Can't get to it yet, though. Hey, we have a shiny line jump here. Sticker comments right there. 
for you to do anything. Uh, oh, there's another one of those weird door-looking things up there. In general, it seems to want us to have a pretty fixed camera angle. Huh. Okay, gotta keep this in mind. There's a red pipe that takes us there. Alright, I still don't need the HP. Stop that. It's instinct to just click the heal block whenever I can. Alright. Next up. It's time. Let's try this pipe next. Um, let me enter. Forget. You don't press down. I've been playing. I played the Thousand Year Door recently. Or I guess somewhat recently. Yes, I like the Thousand Year Door, by the way. Ah, okay. Just jump over these guys. Good. More jumps would probably be useful. Let's go down this pipe here. Whoa! What was that? Oh, hey! First time we're finding a wild blaze hammer. After we got the, uh... Jeez, we don't need that much HP game. Alright, I'm just gonna completely ignore this falling toad for now and pick up all these stickers. I have neglected to mention this so far, but you can actually pick up stuff with your hammer. <laughs> it extends your hitbox. Hey, toad, what's the matter? Mario! You heard me crying and came to help! I, uh, guess I was bawling pretty loudly. See, I was walking around and lost in thought when I found myself actually lost and surrounded by enemies. Now wait till I avoid all those things and get back all by myself, so I decided to express my lo general loneliness by sobbing. A lot. Anyway, please take me back to town. I'll follow him behind you. I won't get in the way or anything. Yay, the toad joined us. Huh, this fence looks short enough. Let's just go on. Mario, wait! If I jump down from here, I'll hurt my feet! And then I'll cry! Look, I better just wait here for you. Come back and get me. Don't forget! Toad left you. Hey. Well, that's rude. Now I have to go all the way back around. But you don't have to see it. Oh, thank goodness! You haven't abandoned me yet! Look, I'm sorry for being such a baby, but my legs just aren't as strong as yours, Mario. We don't all do, like, a thousand jump squats a day. Okay, so I'm going to follow you again. Please take me back to town. Um... Okay, but first I have to smash you for not being able to climb over that tiny little fence. Alright, let's just go through here. Um, I'm starting to run out of jumps, so let's try and avoid these guys if we can. Yeah, it's all over me! I can't take it! Oh, jeez. That toad's a bit much, isn't he? Oh, thank goodness! You haven't left me to fight for myself! Listen, I don't mean to be such a wuss, but I'm not a fi fighter like you, Mario. We don't all stomp like a hundred Goombas before breakfast. If you could just beat up any scary baddie guys for me, that'd really help me out. Okay, so I'm going to follow you again. Please take me back to town. Alright, so what you gotta do is... They made it so that you have to go in here and fight these buzzy beetles. So you can do that by jumping on them, but that's a bit risky, so let's hammer. Alright, that's one down. Don't worry, Toad. Okay, so actually I'll just cut in right here, and as you can see, um, the other aspect of Buzzy Beetles and Koopa Troopas, I'm pretty sure, is that they actually have a point of defense. So they take slightly less damage. Also, um, if you jump on them, they will retract into their shells. But if you hammer them, then they won't. That's just another tidbit. Wow. One buzzy beetle gives me five coins and then another five? Wow. That's pretty good. Alright. Well, that toad didn't seem to follow us. Oh, there he is. Finally, we're back above ground! And... All thanks to you, Mario. You make a great bodyguard. Now keep it up and get me all the way back to town. Just a little ways to go! Alright, yep, gotta go back to town. Including the world map. Alrighty then, little toady. Gotta take him back to Decalburg. Here, we're back in town. Oh, that's a shiny jump. You did it! You got me back to town! Oh, thank you so much! I'm almost crying with joy! I've got a little something to thank you with, so come by my house. 
It's the middle house in the group of three up ahead. I'll wait for you there. Ew, I wonder what he's gonna give us. What? What are you doing? I helped out on the cleanup of the ruined sticker fest grounds, and it was really depressing. I mean, it looked like some kind of sticky wasteland. I was so bummed I tried decorating the grounds with stickers, but... But what? Tell me! But what? But what? Wow, he's rude. Alright. You're still hiding, good. I kinda need a few more jumps. I've been using a lot. I'll take a hop slipper, too. You know what, let's first, before we check that out, check out... You said it's this house. This house was actually locked earlier. Oh, hey, another jump. Thank you. Maybe I won't have to go and purchase some after all. Mario! I've been waiting for you! As far as thank you presents go, this is nothing special, but please take it. Oh, yeah, mushroom. I haven't used one yet, but they can heal you. Might be useful. Hey, but speaking of which, when I was all lost in thought and then got lost, the cube was in front of that windmill kept repeating, 4123. 4123. Isn't that weird? I mean, what language is that? Wow, I almost did it again! I gotta stop getting lost in thought before I really get lost again. Oh, so you are the toad that lives here and must have been trapped in this trash can initially. What kind of crazy Goomba goes around muttering 4123? 4123? I can't afford to get lost again, so I think I'm going to think about it here inside the house. He gives you a hint as of what to do, but. Well, I have no idea what that means at the current moment, so... Let's just go and check out the Stickerfest grounds. Oh, dear. There's no side left of how fun that Stickerfest was! Sorry about it. Alright, ooh, we got a few shiny stickers, including this new one. Shiny Leaf. Shiny Iron Jump. And then just a normal jump and then a normal hammer. But I need a few more normal stickers here. Huh. Let's sort this. This is getting annoying. Alright, so... The shiny iron jump and... You know what? We actually got this leaf. I wonder what this is... What this does. It has an unknown use. But if you take it to the shop, something fairly good will happen. Alright. Well... Okay, so apparently it doesn't really do much... In battles? According to that? Well, anyway, I think that's... I can just exit to the world map here. Oh, there's a shiny jump there that, that I didn't collect. Oh. oh, well, too late now. So now we have to go into... Back here with that knowledge. Maybe we can do something with it? I don't know. Gotta jump here. Alright. Good. Got a hammer there. Lots of those. Um, let me fight you real quick so that you won't get in my way. Again, just a great hammer is enough to do. Ooh! More than enough. Alright, so something that you probably already noticed here is that... So this thing says that we need to use... On days of strong wind, but where the blades... Hmm. So some kind of strong wind will make something happen. And as I've pointed out already, these stumps are usually prime spots for paperization or whatever. Huh? Weird. Never seen a paperization zone like this for sticking stickers. I guess it could be meant for, for a rare sticker type that I'm not familiar with. Huh. Well, if you remember, she was not familiar with the, the scissors thing, and this fan is another thing that she was not familiar with. And it can bring forth some strong winds, depending on what setting you set it to. And if you set it down, then... Although most of you probably already know this from the Paper Mario Smash Bros. stage. Yeah, it's actually a reference to this. Oh, there go the enemies. Alrighty then. And... Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Now we can go inside. Oh, and the enemies are back, I guess. Alright, let's go in. Nice. Thank you, fan thing. Huh? What the? They all create numbers. Wait a second. 
hit it and then they like cycle through all the way like wow five six seven eight nine <laughs> jeez well if you remember wow this thing has like infinite layers on it if you remember there was a that toad I mean it wasn't that long ago so it you should have remembered that toad said that the goombas were saying four one two three so you gotta input the password. Then you might be asking, well then why did it go out up so high? Well I'm pretty sure that um, in other regions of the game the code's actually different. I don't know why Andrew's facing this way. Alright, these guys you can actually just skip. There's a heart there. And there's a green warp pipe. See I'm gonna continue to ignore these fuzzy beetles. I wonder what we're supposed to do with this green warp pipe though. I'll take this jump though. Um, alright. Well, back down here, it looks like. So, looks like this is a one-way trip back to somewhere. So I'll just... I'm actually just... You probably saw it already. There was that weird purple splotch that looked like a pipe could, could have been placed there. That's where we're going here. It should be right under this pipe here. Hello there, Buzzy Beetle. Ooh, Pow Block. I haven't actually shown off what that does yet. Let's see, how's my HP looking? Oh, well, guess I'm using it. Alright. That! Ah! Alright. Yeah, you have to paperize it here. This was actually added to our scraps category here. What you gotta do is you gotta place that pipe there. And then. Get an actual pipe and enter this. But I might actually have to make a cut here real quick, so I'll see you back later. And I'm back. Alright. Sorry. I had to go eat dinner. Now we can enter through this pipe now. Uh, let's see what we got for stickers. Uh, it would be easier to sort them. There we go. Got that shiny leaf. I think we gotta do something with it. We got so many jumps, too. Jeez. All right, well, let's go. Uh... Okay. Well, whatever this thing is, it's giving us... Okay, that was not the rhythm. Nice music. All right, let's just use the hammer on him. Oh, wow, that didn't do any damage to him. Two damage, okay. Alright. Let's try this again. Alright. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. That'll be very useful for this. This is like a mini boss of sorts. Alright, so now this will be the perfect opportunity to show off something I have not yet. The POW block. They will use these shiny jumps just to do as much damage as possible. Because this is a mini boss. Oh, well, I failed at that. Nice, look at that damage. Wow, these two shiny jumps are gonna be enough to kill it. Wow, if I would have gotten the perfect bonus from the If I would have gotten the triple from the start, then I would have been able to instantly- Oh, hey! I would have been able to probably get the perfect bonus on that. Basically, the concept of that guy is, um... What Pow Blocks do is they flip over stuff like Buzzy Beetles and Koopa Troopas. I was actually hoarding a bunch of Pow Blocks for that battle, but I did not realize it would be that simple to do it. You know what? I'll just show it off now. Oh, whoops. I forgot about the hat. Alright, so here's what the Pow Block does normally. You see, it deals damage. It can crumple as well. And what it normally does is it'll it'll flip over all enemies that are wow 24 damage. That's the power of crumble. It'll flip over stuff like Koopa Troopas and Buzzy Beetles, allowing you to jump on them to deal damage. That's what you ooh a flashy jump. That's what you had to use for that boss battle. Because otherwise, ooh, a regular leaf. 
good for the museum. And hey, you know what this gold tape stuff means? Got a sticker coming. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Alright. Well, that's 1-4 done. Pretty much everything I wanted to show off there. Alright. Just need to take a rest. But that's just because I left my game on. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, well, I still gotta donate my... All these stickers. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so apparently at this sticker fest, the jump and hammer respawn, but not any of the other things. Also, this hop slipper is a shiny. Huh? Another high wind warning! Extreme winds are once again in the forecast for Bouquet Gardens. They stopped for a time, but now they're blowing up a storm again. The question is why? Huh. Maybe that because we used that fan sticker, it seems that that respawned. Um I should heal real quick and then I'm just gonna say right now, um, that's all that I had planned for this episode. In the next one we are going to go on to the next level, which is actually not the level we just unlocked. I'd rather go in numerical order here. So, as you can see, this is 1-4, and then this is 1-6, Guma Fortress. I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna go over here to Wamino Mountain. Normally I would say Wamino, but I pronounce it as Domino, so I would say Wamino. Well, anyway, that'll just do it for this episode. I already said what we're doing next time, so I guess I'll just end it off. Until next time, goodbye.